Happy New Year, guys. I'm so happy to be back with you all. And I am finally ready to put out my first video of the year after my nice break. I wanted to bring you guys um, with me through just a simple, relaxing weekday and also show you how I get in God's presence so you too can do that in 2021. So let's get to it. My weekdays start between 7 and 7.20 in the morning. I actually just uh, get up to have time with God, have a prayer and a little devotional. Um, this is what I do to start my morning off, making sure that I am putting him first. So I first like have my prayer and I can get really long winded when I'm talking to God when I'm in my prayer. Sometimes I'm laughing. Sometimes I'm crying. Sometimes I'm just like you know, talking a lot. <laughs> so, but, so it can really get long witted at times, but, um, I pray and then I have time for a little devotion and reading the word. So my devotion is from the power thoughts devotion app. If you follow me on Instagram, then you see me post a quote from this app every single morning. Um, so that is what I use for devotion. And right after that, I actually read some of the word. I'm still learning a lot in the Bible. So I actually am still in Proverbs. This is actually my second time reading Proverbs. I've read several other books, but this is my second time reading Proverbs because I wanted to re-up on <laughs> the Proverb wisdom. So that is where I'm at in my reading. And I use this study Bible. It is um, an NIV version, and I actually love the NLT and um, ESV versions as well. And so when I'm reading my Bible and if there's something that I cannot uh, decipher, I like to go to the YouVersion app and look through um, those other two versions, NLT and ESV, to see if I am able to translate more of what is what the meaning is of what I'm reading. So that's one way to really get in God's presence is to get in his word because he directs us through everything that he has in that word. So the more you know, the more you know where to go throughout your life. One thing I really have to pay attention to when I am just going through my day is what I'm listening to. So whenever I'm getting ready for the day, I like to listen to something really powerful and inspirational. And I usually listen to Dave Ramsey um, early in the morning because you guys know I'm on my debt free journey. So that kind of gets me pumped to get up and go to work. It's like, hey, this is why we're doing this. Um, let's have a good attitude, regardless of what goes on, regardless of what is asked. Let's be supportive. Let's have a good attitude and let's uh, work on the goals that we have going on. So I get that when I'm listening to Dave Ramsey. And then if I'm not in a Dave Ramsey kind of mood, I'll do some gospel music or watch one of my um, favorite YouTubers that are also relatable and inspirational. Um, whenever I am looking at them, I don't feel down. I don't feel depressed. I have to make sure that I keep myself uplifted um, in my spirit. Also, if I am not in like a YouTube kind of mood, which is where I usually get those videos and Dave Ramsey, I'll go to podcasts. And one of the top podcasts that I listen to is the Love Hour uh, from Kevin on stage, him and his gorgeous wife, which is really funny because I love to hear the dynamic of uh, married couples. And then I will also listen to Slay Girl Slay. Um, I haven't listened to her in a while, but she is a very positive uh, Ashley has a very positive podcast. So anything that can keep me on an upbeat all throughout the day and not depress me or, you know, get me in a kind of mood that makes me kind of funky. I make sure that I pay attention to that all day. And that is something that I'm listening to and or watching. So that is another way to make sure that you're staying positive in God's presence because you don't want to feed yourself negativity that is going to trickle down into your day and encourage anxiety or depression or just any kind of hurt and just 
low feelings that you really don't have to have because we all have a choice in how we feel each day. We don't have a choice of what happens to us, but we have a choice in how we react. And, you know, being in God's presence and being able to still keep that presence with you as you're going throughout the day, feeding yourself what you are watching and listening to is a very, very important task. And we have to be on it each and every day. It's a decision you make daily. Y'all know me and my purse go everywhere. And I love how y'all catch her subliminal pop-ups in the screen and you comment on it in the comments. But I take her everywhere. Um, I like to, like, once I'm done getting ready and everything, I head to the front of the house, go into my office. But before doing that, I want to brighten up the rest of the house because I'm, like, walking all out and through the house whenever I am just up and about. And whatever room I'm walking into, whatever the feeling is in that room... I can quickly feel whatever that feeling is if it's like dark and dingy and ain't no spirits in my house, honey. We don't do that. Um, it's all God and the Holy Spirit is here, but I do love the brightness that uh, the daylight gives. So I take advantage of that. I keep my, my blinds open clean until 6 p.m. So that is one thing I make sure to do to keep my spirits up when it, whenever I am just going through room to room in the house. So that is a must every single morning. Another thing that I love to do to make sure I keep myself uh, or keep the presence of God within me and keep myself focused on how God wants me to react and, and how and some of the things that I might have read through the Bible is I talk to him throughout the day. If there's something I'm feeling, if I'm angry, if I'm, you know, disheartened, if I'm like really feeling really lazy or really sleepy or just very hurt, um, even if I can't verbalize it. I can think it because he's so intertwined with all of our emotions and, and us in general. He's intertwined. He knows the beat of your heart. He knows the air that you breathe and your patterns. He knows everything about you and some of the things that you try to conceal. And if I'm talking to him consistently, that keeps me in that relationship, keeps our relationship close because, you know, if you were to have a relationship with someone and didn't talk to them for two months, how close would you really be to that person? Would you feel like you need to catch up every single time? Um, so I basically try to talk to him throughout the day, especially at work, because work for me can sometimes be very challenging with my attitude. And I know myself, um, someone asked me to do something I do not feel like doing. It's really quick for me to have a bad attitude. So in order to um, see everything that I'm doing, including my work and my job as a blessing, I continue to talk to God and I continue to thank him and ask him to, no matter what happens that day, that he allows me and reminds me to constantly approach it with a good attitude because it's all it doesn't have to all be a test but it's an opportunity for me to show that I'm a team player I'm having a great attitude and today whatever happens today is not going to take me down but it, I'm going to choose joy because joy is comes from God it doesn't come from everything that we do he gives us joy and we have a choice to use it so when I'm having good meetings and just laughing and talking with co-workers and asking anyone if they need help because I'm done with my work and I can just really take that load off of somebody else, that's an opportunity to be a blessing to someone else. And so talking to God throughout the day really helps me stay in tune with that. Um, it doesn't allow me to get into my selfish thoughts sometimes. So, you know, prayer does not have to be down on your knees, boohoo crying every single day. Don't let anyone make you feel like you have to have this intensity in your prayer life. Prayer is simply having a conversation with God. That's all it is. And that's all he wants. He just wants to hear from you. So even if you're saying, hey, God, I see you. Oh, look at you over there. Oh, I see you, Lord. You know, whatever it may be. Um, 
it's prayer, you know, that's all he wants from you. And whatever that style is for you, whoever you are, that's going to show in your prayer life. And so just talk to him. That's all we can do throughout our day is talk to him. And that uh, allows his presence to stay filled in us so that when we are interacting with everyone else, that is what they see. They see God. They don't have to see us first. They can see God and that will allow you to shine in your life anyway. So my lunchtime hasn't been as active as I would uh, like it to be, but there are some changes that I will be implementing. That's not in this vlog, but um, <laughs> I'm actually taking a lunch now just to rest and relax. And while I'm taking a lunch, I, like I told you guys earlier, I had to monitor what I watch. If, I'm wa if I decide to watch TV instead of doing a little personal work on the side, then I have to watch something that is uplifting and, and not, you know, you know, I kind of like a little drama. I'm not going to lie. I like a little drama in what I watch, but, um, I can't like watch people have sex or I can't watch anything that, d that kind of takes me out of that walk that I'm trying to do every day. So right now I've actually been watching Downton Abbey, even though it's not, it's over, <laughs> but I think it's over. Um, I've been watching Downton Abbey. There's another, uh, I love British film there's another British film that you just as soon as you turn it on five minutes later they're just going at it on a tree and the stuff like that I can't watch because of my celibacy walk like I don't need that kind of temptation in my head in order to keep my thoughts clear I have to watch things that can keep me thinking of positive stuff so right now I'm watching Downton Abbey and opening up some packages, some gifts from some brands, thankfully, that sent me some stuff that I already use and absolutely love, like Necessaire. But I am just, you know, enjoying my rest until it's time to go back to work. So I don't know what happened last year, but some kind of way I became domesticated. And <laughs> one thing that I um, have been doing a lot lately is kind of cleaning before I go to bed because just waking up to a clean house um, with no dishes in the sink has been making me feel amazing. So I definitely, <laughs> I definitely have been doing this a lot more, just cleaning um, up, getting the dishes out of the way, cooking at home because of, you know, the whole debt-free journey thing. I want to be free from debt tour by the end of 2021 20, this year. So, um, you know, I'm cooking at home a lot more, which uh, uh, comes all of the dishes. And, <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm really good at just ordering out. So I'm kind of learning how to cook more vegan stuff and more just at the house when even on the weekends when I decide to have a little meat, just cooking at the house instead of doing a whole bunch of fast food runs. So my budgeting, by the way, guys, with the Dave Ramsey um, plan has absolutely gone phenomenal this month. I actually got the best at the budgeting app and designating where I want every single dollar to go. So like if you guys want to chat about it in the comments, definitely send some stuff down there and I can chat with you guys about it. Um, as you guys know, the comments do get a little loaded. So sometimes I have to take a break. But if you guys want to chat about it, please come down there. But I'm absolutely loving it. And, and just keeping my home fresh makes me feel even much better in the morning. So I take a little bit of time to do it at night. It's only me. I don't have any kids. I don't have a husband. So this is the best time for me to kind of learn how to take care of my space a little bit more and just enjoy that cleanliness when you wake up in the morning.
So y'all, this is something that happened that I honestly was not expecting to. I was expecting to have a uh, praise and worship today and show you guys just so you can get it in another view of a way to get in God's presence, which is having praise and worship in your own house. But honestly, I do not like being this vulnerable um, on camera and praise and worship with me and God is, uh, you know, very intimate. So I, I honestly was kind of a little nervous about showing this portion and the fact that God showed up in the room and I was just crying boohooing for an hour and was not expecting it to get as emotional like uh, just it, as emotionally heightened as it was in that moment I honestly was not expecting that but this is one of the best ways to get in God's presence. If you do not know how to, if you can just give him some a piece of praise and worship, whether it's in your car, whether it's in your home, um, whether you are able to actually go into church and have praise and worship. Praise and worship is God listening to you and loving it and just crying and absolutely feeling so happy that you have given him that that voice of acknowledgement and thankfulness of who he is and what he has done for us and him sending his son down to die for our sins. Like it is one of the ultimate, most precious moments that you can have with God. And honestly, sometimes pra every praise and worship session is different. Um, sometimes I'll do praise and worship and it's just me singing and I don't feel all of the emotions of crying and boohooing and stuff like that. I just feel grateful. And I just thank God, you know, for everything that he's done and just constantly thanking him. Thanking him is the best way to get in his presence. And if you do praise and worship consistently, and by consistently, I don't mean every day, but um, like if you take the time and, and realize that getting in his presence in that way and just singing to him, singing his praise, he loves it so much that he just, he opens up his heart to you. He opens his ear to you anytime you speak, but praise and worship is the ultimate um, hallelujah to him. It's the ultimate praise. So if you are able to just even find some kind of praise and worship music. This is actually Elevation Church. Um, they have a praise and worship playlist or I'm sorry, channel on YouTube. And I just go on there and listen to some of my favorite songs. And it, you know, he just showed up in the room this day. And really, I was not trying to get this um, emotional on camera or emotional at all. I didn't know it was going to be that kind of praise and worship. Otherwise, I probably wouldn't have filmed it. But I'm glad that he did show up because that is one intimate way of you being with God. And I know it's sounding repetitive, but I can't, I can't verbalize it any better than it is the best praise that he can get from you is praise and worship. So if you're not sure, if you're not ready to read the word yet, or if you're not doing anything, just, uh, anything yet to get into his presence, and you're not really sure where to start praise and worship, I would say will be the number one. And then number two, definitely get into his word and read it. Even if you don't understand it, um, you can always ask for help. But yes, praise and worship, absolutely number one on my list, ways of getting in the presence of God. So what I'm also doing this month is consecrating from television, which basically I'm just consecrating to get a little closer to God television between eight to 10 um, so that I can have a little bit more quiet time with God at night. Um, and it's just this month. I did this last year and it was very helpful with my relationship with God. I felt so much closer to him by the end of January. And again, guys, it takes time. You're not going to like just feel a shift overnight. Not my, Most of the times you don't feel that. But um, yeah, this is one thing that I'm doing to make sure I am consecrating television and reading my word, reading the word in the morning and at night. So I'm trying to do this every day. Um, again, every day is not successful and that is fine. He doesn't expect perfection from us, honestly. He just wants effort um, and, and love and honor. And so I'm just like um, basically trying to do this during January to get a little closer with him and put him first in my year. So yeah, that is what I'm doing now, reading a little bit of word of the word. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you want more tips on how to get closer to God or how I um, read the word and all of that. If you want more of that, we could chat about it in the comments below. Um, and also I can decide whether other videos can be done in this way to kind of help you guys out. So I hope you guys enjoyed this daily 
peaceful routine with God. And I will see you guys again next week on Saturday. Talk to you then. Bye.